Hey there, folks. Welcome back to the channel. I am, of course, the Big Puma, wherever you may be and however you may be watching. Thanks for making this video a part of your day. We are back here on day 20, and as I'm saying things, I need to get the medical going. We might, we just need to go ahead and get this infection out of here, and we also have a concussion, so that is going to be done with um, the painkillers, which we have a ton of painkillers. So that's good. Now, something I... Oh, we're groggy. We're a little messed up. There we go. So something that I have... I, I see all of our tools here. We got our nail gun. I had a horde come through here, and I, st I was doing a lot of harvesting, or um, mining, I guess. And you can see all that over here. And I'm going to continue to do so, because we're going to need a lot of stone. Now, I had the test of... There was some... There's a horde, a wandering horde wand wandering obviously i guess through here and i had them come up here but they immediately started breaking through this and i'm assuming they're doing so because it's empty and I, what i wanted them to do and you can see how low the pit is i you can look over there and see i've got 18 minutes left on my on my injury i had fallen through here and broke my leg and i have two ladders going up just in case they break one but as they come across here we beat on them and they fall down and then all of this shouldn't it shouldn't as I say it um, make a difference if it's cobblestone or if it's wood because they're just falling down we'll see but with all of that said you know back coming through here this is all cobblestone as well and it might need to go up to concrete but up here for sure we'll need I'll have to make myself a, a, a you know a section here and uh, maybe actually maybe do it on the back or the front because can I reach that without falling off here oh okay so I'll just you know nerd pull myself up into this and I'm gonna have to fill this room and at least make it cobble so they don't try to come through and they do follow you know the path I want them to follow We'll have to see for Horde Night. Um, but I'm going to do that off camera where you guys don't have to sit there and watch. Because it's going to be a lot of just, you know, mining and digging and then upgrading. And, oh, I don't know if I wanted to actually dig a hole there. Part, the other part of me uh, with uh, some of this is thinking that if this is all dug up, because you know we're using it for clay and we're using it for um, stone and everything else that it's just gonna make it more difficult on the zombies so you know I kinda I'm kind of okay with that um, I don't think we have oh, oh we do oh right at blue trailer trucking that's right um, oh something else that I did I had two points two skill points from all the digging and I put one skill point into lock picking to get more um, uh, forge ahead books and it says here that 10% uh, lower chance to break lock picks and all that and advanced engineering but it's gonna help find more forge ahead books and then I also put one into healing factor to get that up to level 2 because we were getting smoked on horde night uh, we seem to be doing okay during the normal you know day-to-day -day of of uh oh there we go normal day-to-day -day of just going through jobs and wandering the the uh the world uh but horde night really got us so we're making some cement here i think i'm gonna have to make a second mixer so we can get some concrete mix going but cement is going to be the big deal i took half of our stone uh, the stone that I create that I mined and um, made it into cement so we're gonna see what how much cement we can get out of all this uh, we will go ahead and craft more while we're out um, and then if it's just stone that's gonna be huge that is gonna be so big we have so much clay um, so we're gonna go out and we're gonna do this job uh, and then we'll come back and I think the rest of the day, I'm going to... Oh, you know what? Let me put some stuff away. Um, the rest of the day, I'm going to um, just do this job, 
and then we will start digging again and trying to fill that room I'm I don't think I'll you know record I may record it but just speed it up a little bit just you know it's not gonna be interesting and then day 21 we'll see cuz I'm I'll get that room at least up to cobble and cobblestone and then um, hopefully hopefully it works my problem is that I don't have too many zombies to test it with so um, there's just not a lot coming around even at night um, if we do have a wandering horde so let's get over to I'm beating this bike up BAM let's get it back over here now if you watched the last episode um, you'll know that we've already done this this spot here this one is now a fetch and clear where the first time we did it was a fetch uh, I'm sorry it was just a clear and as soon as we finished it we you know this one came up and we started again so we're gonna start this job again it's the exact same place Jen sent us to the same place again uh, we will take that because I'm starting a little farm we can get some coffee going uh well I will scrap the nails yeah now the upside to doing this is that I already know there are gonna be birds up here because the last time we came the birds got a hold of us and gave us that infection that you saw can we see them yeah we can um let me see where's my rifle we'll put the bone knife away man you know that nail gun has made upgrading the base just so much better it's insane come on what's wrong with my mouse here really Got him. Even with a janky mouse, something's up with my right click. Dude. Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me right now. Well, that's gonna make things a little more difficult, that's for sure. Oh, I need to reload anyway. Oh, that is not good. There, we got those two birds out of the way. That is, that's not going to be fun at all. And I'm still moving just a little slow because I do have that broken leg. But I, I had, a, I put a cast on it, so we should be good with it. Let's see. We'll get the bag. We know exactly what we got to do here. All of these guys. There should be some guys underneath us. Yep. I wonder if I can get him with an arrow. No way. Really? Dang. Oh, I thought it was him, but it wasn't. Oh, well, there we go. Alright, wake up. Come come over here, dummy. Yeah, goodbye. Okay, now they're all waking up. Feral guy, get smacked. You get get gone I mean just easy and again oh there's the the satchel that's perfect we still got a clear but we also have the opportunity here to claim all these supplies again and we did this in the last one. Oh, you sound like an outside zombie that don't you don't even belong here um, oh X I'm sure we'll end up running into this fool outside. We'll scrap that orange. I like the orange. Okay, for Pete's sake. Oh no, I'm not messing with that. That's a thousand. I mean, it's quick, but I got better things to do. Oops. Oh, shoot. Lady. And what were y'all doing in the closet? Hmm. I wonder. Oh, he's not dead. He's not dead. Oh, shoot. Well, that's good. We didn't get double infected or re- I don't even know if that's a thing. Or re-injured. While we're in here collecting supplies and not paying attention. I mean, I got a lot of stuff from here last time. So. 
that that's a that that's a big help. Uh, we'll drop the sandwich. We don't really need that. Again. And here, let's see, another wiring tool. I think we already have one at home too. Pick up the stone, and there's somebody in there. This this should go quickly. Oh, sheesh, I forgot about the dog. Come on, man. All right. Who's out there? Bo? Oh. Okay, come on. There we go. Just... I think the fire should take care of him. Blech. There he goes. All right. Oh, gosh, I didn't see that, dude. I even knew that. That happened to me last time. Jeez. Okay, he's still not dead. Jeez. That, I did that almost the same exact thing. All right. We're burning through here because we, like I said, we know we've done this already. And we'll skip the paper. And we just got to clear out the rest of these fools. Oh, yeah. There was a bunch of them in this room. All right, but I don't think... I was going to say, I don't think any of them are feral. And then one of them's feral. Oh, he ducked. Bro, you better get up. Bingo. Bingo, bango. Dunzo. Yeah, we'll take the soup. We'll take the chair for the leather. And the all the all the materials. We'll hit it up. And take all this back and like I said, the rest of this after we do this job for Jen, the rest is going to be um mainly uh mining and getting ready for the horde. Cuz you know, we did well on week on a week on uh night 7 we died twice on night 14 so I think um, we'll go ahead and use you I think I want to try to prepare a little better um, you know book we already had oh bandolier mod and a biker outfit uh, what don't, don't do I have anything do I already have the bandolier mod on something I don't I can't put it on le on level 4 there and the pocket mods are all done, and I don't think you can put a bandolier mod on your foot. And I've already got two in there. I wonder... Can you put a pocket mod on... Oh, well, I can't put it in my gloves anyway. It's got to go on the chest. We'll do that. And can you put a pocket mod on your feet? You sure can. Bam. Nice. You can dye these? You sure can. I mean, it shows orange down here, but it doesn't really change. I'm going to take that out. Because I'll put it on something that you can actually see it on. Um, Alright, Savage Country. Armor book, nice. And a rifle book. Pipe rifle, which we don't care about. And we'll take those that stuff as well. Um, Alright. Let's head back to Jen's. How do I get out of here? I'm quite encumbered. Yep. Yeah. Alright, let's head back to Jen's and I'll meet you there. Okay, so now that we're back at Jen's and I started, you know, recording, I had to stop halfway and then start again, and my microphone was muted for the rest of this video. So. I'm going to talk about just essentially what was going on here. I was checking my bike to see if there was anything I was going to sell to Jen because we had the sugar butts, but um, it wasn't enough right, for the sugar butts to make sense. So I did have the biker outfit um, that I scrapped for a part. Looking back on it, I think um, I probably should have kept it because the whole biker outfit gives you like melee damage and stuff like that. So we go to Jen for our reward 
and it was nothing good. Like we already had two of those things. We didn't care. I don't care about the seeds, the gunpowder. I didn't need to really make bullets. I had almost 450, 762, a thousand uh, or more uh, nine millimeters. So we took the lock picks. We bought the three big hitters books for um, the steel club to hopefully move up from there. And then of course I ended up selling stuff anyway, just to make room. Um, but trying to figure out if there's any other books and stuff that we need and if she had any more ammo but what we eventually end up buying we get i mean it's thirteen thousand dollars dukes or whatever for forged steel because i wanted to make the steel pickaxe do because of um we have a lot of mining that we have to do to get ready for horde night in the next video so i didn't buy it here but afterwards i did end up go and buy it it was 1400 dukes which took quite a few of them i mean that dropped us down to like 200 200 dukes which is fine um we're finding quite a bit of stuff in our uh in, in loot and you know loot bags and stuff like that this here i was talking about the water filter where that i did have to buy for our one duke collector and the crucible 14,000 dukes i I'm not sure how to... Uh, we're going to have to get it. Because I think making our own ammo is going to be worth it in the end. Um, but who's got 14,000 dukes, right? So we hop back on the bike. We're going to go over here and we're going to start getting things together for the Horde Knight. We're going to start getting things ready. And uh, that's going to be crafting cement, cobblestone, and um, concrete, right? So, we got a lot, oh, popping wheelies, and then running things out. I was showing here that I was digging out the sand and cobblestone on that side, and the fence collapsed on me. Um, so, I'm bringing all of this stuff in that we were going to sell. Uh, even though she didn't want those bats at the time, they'll, they'll just go into the sell box for when we are ready. We got two, oh, we got two sugar butts in there, and one in the bike. That's insanity. Uh, so we pack everything up we put everything where it's supposed to go we got to eat and and uh, we did put a skill point into oh I don't remember now but it was find more food and loot oh no no it was a it was a uh, wasteland treasures book I think find more food anyway it was one of the books that we would find more food and loot so that's gonna be perfect so that is how this video ends it's just preparing for horde night in the next video it's it it's already been recorded but i'm going to go ahead and say we're going to start crafting and getting things together and getting things situated um for horde night and this is just me running running crazy trying to get things crafted and get you know cobblestone rocks and cement and all that together so Coming up here, I'm going to show uh, what all we've been doing or how I got this prepared um, for the Horde Night. And um, I'm just going to kind of fast forward through all of this because it's a lot of crafting. It's a lot of uh, just building. And so, you know, I also um, went back to Jen and got the 10 steel so we could make the steel pickaxe. I'm kind of checking everything. We have more water. Look at that, 60 waters in there. It's insanity. So we got the steel pickaxe. I moved everything over to that pickaxe uh, because it was going to become useful for digging and stuff, you know. So I put that in the cell box. I came over here to figure out this room. So I think what I was, my plan after I tried my best to get in there and was like, forget it, I'll just go this way. But I, I repaired what I could and then I filled what i'm gonna do anyway i have to go back and get some rocks and here i was getting those rocks when all of a sudden a screamer a screamer shows up she screamed and so people came there's a second screamer we took care of business and i these guys these people i was just trying to get them to come over third screamer right there that was that was insanity all because i'm assuming is because i'm mining and i'm doing things those guys i was going to leave over there be done with them i'm not going to fool with them um and i'm making as much crushed sand i'm sorry cement as possible uh one for upgrades and and um repairs oh look there's 
somebody else. And then screamer number four. Just it was it was nonstop this night, uh, heading into Horde Night. I went around to get as much wood as I could. This this axe is amazing. Couple of hits on some of these big trees and they go down, and then a you know one hit on some of the smaller trees and they go down. So I'm getting all the wood so I can make more blocks and I'm grabbing stones along the way to just add to the pile, right? So the the blocks will go in and they'll fill the room and then I'll upgrade all those blocks to cobblestone and I just just got that out of the way just because so we're upgrading here to cobble um, that's all that one area is cement because it's fits on the other side where the zombies come in um, so I didn't have to bother with that too much I went ahead and just did this whole space um, and then just filled it in filled it in with with blocks and um, I had to get rid of all these little half shapes because it was really jacking with the way the blocks were sitting and, um, and so I made more block and you know I could have counted and got the correct amount of blocks but you know it is what it, you know we'll do we'll do what we do we'll just make a million blocks but we had to wait for all the cobblestone I wasn't paying attention because making square making those blocks doesn't cost anything um, so once we got all the cobblestone finished up and we got our blocks back I just started filling them in upgrading them to wood and then of course upgrading them to cobblestone and I had to do that along the way so I didn't leave anything behind now I we, we noticed earlier in the video that you know they were coming through the wall so that's the reason for that and then I had to go find the rocks that we had um, to make more cobblestone rocks and just you know a thousand cobblestone should give us the ability to upgrade about a hundred blocks I wanna say it's ten cobblestone rocks per block um, and I wanna say also it's the same for um, for concrete I, I might be mistaken though but we you know we go through here we don't run out we have plenty of cobblestone as you can see it's slowing down because I had to wait for the cobblestone to you know build up um, the blocks there 27 blocks is gonna give us exactly what we need to fill this room and then we have our lucky I'm sorry we have one point I put that into minor 69er to give us more when we harvest or when we mine um, and so this was me just kind of working testing out the pickaxe the new pickaxe steel level one and then you know breaking down signs just because they're kind of in the way um and then breaking everything around me as i waited for those cobblestone rocks to finish and then just you know kind of went back in and finished upgrading so that's going to be it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching please leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not come on back it's horde night baby